Silicon Valley bigwigs like Facebook backers Peter Thiel and Sean Parker are now backing a new venture, an artificial intelligence startup that is building software to think and learn like humans. It's called Vicaria Systems. And for more, we're joined by the Vicaria Systems co-founders, Scott Brown and also Dalib George. Gentlemen, thank you so much uh, for making the time to be with us. Uh, and Thanks for having us, Betty. Very briefly, Thanks, I just want to explain to our viewers, and you correct me if I'm wrong, this is essentially sort of like a chip, right, uh, that is uh, within, I guess, within computers uh, that help these machines or that make these machines think more like uh, human beings, learn, and that sort of thing. Um, where do you see this most applicable? Uh, Scott, you want to it's take actually, that? You know, it's actually software for right now. You know, I'm sure there will be opportunities to turn it into chips in the future, but right now it's just software. Okay. And it's a... Uh, you know, the very first step towards building, you know, what is true artificial intelligence as you describe it that we're taking is to just focus on building a, a vision system that can recognize objects in photographs and videos. And we think that you know, that component of that larger goal to build intelligent software uh, will have broad applications in you know, many industries from everything from healthcare to manufacturing to retail. Uh, and Dalib, I mean, give me the, 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 the potential here. I mean, give me some numbers here. Oh, okay. Um, in terms of potential, you know, I think this will be uh, going to be bigger than the internet. It's very hard to predict the future. Uh, a famous computer scientist once said that the best way to predict the future is to invent it. So I can tell you in terms of how it will unfold uh, from what we are building. Mm -hmm. uh, so as Scott mentioned, we are building a vision system first. And uh, this will understand images and videos just like the way humans do. And it will have wide-ranging implications in the field of medicine, for example, to understand a slide and say what is in it and whether the tumor is cancerous or not. Uh, so it will have wide-ranging implications in many fields. Okay. And once we, have, once we have done that, we will, we will let the system interact with the environment and learn cause and effect, kind of playing peekaboo with the environment. Okay. And Everything that we call higher level intelligence is built on top of this knowledge about interactions with the world. So this can be revolutionary for uh, fields like robotics. And uh, we will see that happening uh, maybe in about 10 years. Okay, so and if, <laughs> no, go yeah, ahead. if everything goes well, uh, we should have real human-like intelligence built in about 15 years. In about 15 years, all right. And, and Dilip, you know, that's a tall order, bigger than the internet is what you're saying. Um, Scott, uh, I know, you know, we were saying that um, some Facebook investors like Peter Thiel uh, have invested in your company um, and also some Facebook employees or, or executives as well. First off, how much did they invest in your company? Can you say? I don't think we're talking about that right now, but we can say that it's, it was less than $10 million. It doesn't take a lot to start an artificial intelligence company. You know, your primary cost drivers are, are researchers who can study the problem and run experiments and develop the software. So it's not a high capital expenditure kind of investment. Okay. And, and the, fact that, the fact that there are so many Facebook uh, people, I guess you could call them, interested in this, does this mean that it has some application then to social networking, to Facebook? Uh, I think so. You know, it, you, we've seen a media explosion with Facebook in terms of the number of pictures and videos that people post every day. And Facebook, you may not realize this, but Facebook is actually the world's largest photo sharing website by far. Mm. And having software that can automatically understand what's in an image, what kinds of things you like to take pictures of, where you've been, who your friends are, and right. help make your social world richer, uh, I think would be very valuable. But I'm not sure that's the reason why these investors and these, you know, the Facebook co-founder was interested in, in us. I think it's more to do with uh, being passionate about technology that has the potential to create transformative change. Right. Uh, and, and, and quickly, uh, you know, I know you mentioned that it's less than $10 million that they invested in your company. Do you think, though, Scott or Dalip, that let's say five years ago, six years ago, you would have gotten the doors open to people like that. Uh, has it changed here for you? Has the game changed in Silicon Valley? Well, um, so for this particular company, probably five or ten years back, we wouldn't have been able to open the door. Uh, game has, hasn't changed much in Silicon Valley in the sense that companies have been, have been getting funded all the time. And uh, it's uh, waiting till the right time for the right technology. So I think now is the time for getting uh, you know, companies uh, going in the field of artificial intelligence and uh, in the field of building 
uh, machines that mimic uh, human capabilities. So now is the right time for that uh, kind of investment, okay. but probably not five or ten years back. Scott Dalip, thank you very much for joining us. I appreciate it. The co-founders of Vicarious Systems, an artificial intelligence company. Very interesting.